It's exciting to have a major championship here where I grew up in San Diego at uh, Torrey Pines and then to come in to this event as the most recent major winner is special as well. But um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the week and excited about the way this will showcase to the world what, it, uh, what a great job everyone's done to get this course ready and, and uh, how beautiful it is. Welcome back, everybody. Phil Mickelson won the PGA Championship last month, and now he has his focus dialed in on this week's U.S. Open, a tournament he's yet to win. The 121st U.S. Open gets underway on Thursday, and Mickelson shares how he's preparing. It's a unique opportunity because uh, I've never won a U.S. Open. It's in my backyard. Um, I have a chance to prepare properly, and I wanted to put in the right work. So uh, I've kind of shut off all the noise. I've shut off my phone. I've shut off... Uh, a lot of the other stuff to where I can kind of focus in on this week and really give it my best chance to try to play my best. Now, you always need some luck. You always need things to kind of come together and click. But um, I know that I'm playing well, and I just wanted to give myself every opportunity to be and play at my best. And so I started working uh, Monday shortly thereafter. In prep baseball, divisional playoffs this afternoon in Division Three, the Southwest Eagles put up a great fight again against top-seeded Christian Eagles fall this afternoon by a score of 4-3, to three, ending their season. And in Division Four, Holtville also put up a fight against top seed West Hill, but also comes up a run short, falling 7-6. to six. Congrats to the Southwest Eagles and Holtville Vikings baseball teams on great seasons. In girls prep softball in Division One, Brawley will host the Bulldogs of Ramona tonight. First pitch scheduled in just a few minutes at 6.30. We'll have highlights on this game tonight at 10. And in Division 4, Holtville will have a rematch with the La Jolla Vikings on Thursday. Holtville defeated La Jolla 13-1 last week. The rematch is at 3.30 on Thursday. Now to Major League Baseball and the Los Angeles Dodgers are celebrating California's reopening today. Christian, you'll like this. The stadium will operate at full capacity for the first time since 2019. The stadium homes 56,000 people. Reopening day ceremonies will include Brad Paisley performing the national anthem. The teams and fans will celebrate their 2020 World Championship. I know you're excited about that, Christian. And the Dodgers will wear their special edition gold trim jerseys and caps to mark the occasion. The team will also host a mobile COVID-19 vaccination clinic in the Centerfield Plaza tonight and tomorrow, where ticket holders can receive their vaccine through the seventh inning and receive a voucher for two tickets to a future 2021 home game. Now to the Stanley Cup Final Four last night, Canadians and Vegas. Vegas takes a 1-0 period lead on this Shea Theodore sniper shot. Golden Knights off and running early, and the fans at T-Mobile Stadium on the Las Vegas Strip explode with excitement. Let's go now to the second period in game one of the best of seven series. Again, it's going to be Shea Theodore. He's going to start this final breakout and the Golden Knights are going to get this puck behind the end line right here. But watch as Riley Smith is going to get it back out to Theodore. Theodore in the slot double clutch. So he's going to pass down low. Shot goal. One timer. Alex Martinez. Vegas takes a 2-0 lead and they go on to win in Vegas in game one by a score of 4-1. Game two is tomorrow. And ASU's James Harden returns to the hardwood tonight for the Brooklyn Nets in game five against the Milwaukee Bucks. More scores and highlights for you, including that Brawley softball game tonight right here at 10 o'clock.